Hello Techies. In the first part of OCR action, we have learned what is OCR and also we have seen the input parameters and the output parameters of the OCR action which is available under computer vision action. In the second part, we are going to work on a small use case or project with OCR. In this small use case, what we are going to do, we are going to get the files of images or bunch of images and then we are going to use OCR to extract the data inside the image and then we are going to write the data which we have extracted inside the image by using OCR action then the data we are going to write it into the text file. That is our small use case. Where exactly we are going to use this kind of scenarios? If you observe in the hospital we are having document scanner. They will scan the document which doctor has prescribed and then they will store these images in particular folder. It may be in SharePoint or it may be in OneDrive or wherever it may be. And then by using OCR action, we will extract the data and then based on that, we will search the data or for the data processing and then we'll write the data into the text file for the future analysis. This is where we are having healthcare related use case that we'll use it. All right. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm having some scanned images that is scanned image one, two, three, and so on. One is PNG, another one is JPEG format, so that you will get the names as scanned image one, scanned image two, another one scanned image PNG, another one scanned image three. By using OCR, I need to extract the data from all the images and then I'm going to store the data inside the particular text file. That is, we are having OCR output. If you open that, this is the output which I got it when I run this particular flow. All right. Now, let me explain you before going to get all the details one by one, before going to execute one by one action, let me explain that. By using get files in a folder, by using this action, I'm going to extract which are the files are there in the particular folder. And then I'm going to use for each action in each and every file that we have inside the folder. I'm going to use OCR to extract the data by using OCR action. I'm going to extract the text which is residing inside the image. And then I'm going to write the data inside the text file that is by using write text to file action. That is the output which we are going to get it in a such a way once we are going to get the data. All right. This is the output. Now we'll see each and every step in action. Now the first agenda of this session is that we need to extract the data from the image by using OCR action. Where we'll find that in the cognitive actions inside the Microsoft, we are having computer vision inside that I'm having OCR. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, the server location, as we have seen, my server is located in the East US. Second one is the subscription key. This subscription key, I'm going to get it from the Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services, that is Power Automate Desktop Computer Vision API. I'm going to copy that key, and that key I'm going to use in the subscription key. All right. Now, if you see over here, provide image. I'm going to select the path which we have so that here we are having the bunch of images, right? We're having many images over here so that I need to provide the path over here. I will do that. And the long ways, the default long ways is English and the detect orientation default one is the up and the advanced, the default timeout is 30 seconds and the output will be stored in the JSON response as well as status code right status code you will get it 200 for the successful response whereas 400 will get it the bad request and response whatever the data has been extracted by using ocr action the entire data will be stored in the format of json response inside that we are having region inside region we are having lines inside lines we are having words and finally inside words we are having text all right now 
as a best practice, we are not going to hard code over here for everything that we are going to set a variable over here in the OCR action. So that I'm going to provide subscription key a variable and the image path, I'm going to provide a variable over here. All right, let me drag and drop this set variable action onto the workspace. I'm going to give over here, I'm going to give subscription key. The subscription key, what is the value? I'm going to keep it into value, right? Let me click on save. The next one, I'm going to set one more variable that is images path. Because of we are having images in the particular folder, right? That image path, I'm going to set a variable over here. I have just copy pasted the same action and then I'm going to rename it as images path. And the images path, I'm going to give it as e colon power automate desktop OCR scan documents. All right, click on save. Now, in the same way, I'm going to set a variable for the destination also. I have given the destination path to write the data, right? That is e colon power automate desktop slash OCR slash output slash OCR output. Now, we have got all the variables over here. I want to get the files inside the folder, right? The images which we have inside the folder, I need to get all the files. How can we go ahead and get it? There I'm having one action called get files in folder action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. What this action will do, it will retrieve all the files which are inside the folder, right? Over here, what is the images path that we have? We have set in the variable that is images path, right? I'm going to select the same variable as images path. And then I'm not going to use any filter. I'm just assuming that inside my folder, I'm having images only. All right, let me click on save. Now we got all the images in the particular folder or we got all the files in the particular folder. Now. How can we go ahead and extract the data from the particular image? First of all, for to go through the loop, I will use for each action. Because of I'm having list of files in the particular path, that is get files in a folder, and then the files list of files I'm going to store in the files flow variable, right? Now I'm going through the loop by using for each action. There you can see I'm having value tree trait, what is the values to iterate? I'm in having the files in the files list of files, right? I'm going through that and then I'm going to get the output in the current image. I'm going to set a variable as current image and then I'm going to click on save. Now, once we got the current image, now we have to run our OCR action, right? So that we have already used our OCR action. Let me drag and drop this action inside the for each. Now, over here, we have dragged the OCR action and we have extracted the data from the particular image. Now, we got the output in JSON response, right? The JSON is having the response in lines and words. Now, I have to go through each and every line over there, right? So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to use for each action. Now, first of all, we'll set the values over here in the OCR. OCR values, what are the values that we need to give it as an input? First one is the subscription key. Now the subscription key, the variable has been already stored over here in the subscription key variable, right? And the second one is the image file. If you see in the current image, I'm having the path, right? So that I'm going to set the same image file over here as current image dot full name. Full name having the full path dot full name. All right, now let's click on save. Now, if you observe over here, we are going through each and every image, and then we are going to extract the data or the text inside the image by using OCR action. And by using this JSON response, which we have stored by using OCR action, I'm going through the loop to get the current line and the current word by using this for each actions, All right? We have already seen these two things in our previous session also. Now, I want to write the data. I want to write the data in the particular text file. 
how can we go ahead and do that i'm going to use write text to file action let me drag and drop this action inside the for each of the current line okay i will tell you the reason over here because of after reading an entire line or single line then i have to write the data all right where we have to write the data into the file path where is that file path that i'm having i have stored inside the destination variable select that variable as destination path right now we have to text to write what text we need to write we are having the output from the current word right i need to write that data i will show you that now if you observe i am getting each and every word by using for each action that is current word in current line of words right but inside that i am having a text right where i need to store that text i want to set a variable that is original text i will make it for the original text i am going to concatenate the current word over here which i am going to get it but you may ask there is one hiccup is there that is how can we set a variable as blank now once again i am going to select one more set variable let me drag and drop this set variable action onto the workspace there i am going to set the variable name as original text and then you have to provide some value over here in the two if you don't provide the value then in that case it will throws an error see you can see the error over here set variable parameter 2 cannot be empty how can we save the value or the variable as empty in that case we'll simply give percentage percentage inside that we'll give single quotes this is the way how we are going to provide the empty text for the particular variable all right now let's click on save now once again i am going to use set variable over here inside the current word over here i am going to set a variable as a original text inside the original text i am having inside that i am going to select original text along with that i am going to concatenate with the current word of text and then i am going to store in the final original text or full word full original text i am going to give it all right now let's click on save now this entire original text i am going to write it into the write text to file so you can see over here what is the text to over right i am going to give it as full original text so that it will be writing the entire line of words over here i am going to give append new line over here if file exists in that case what i have to do i am going to append the content all right now let me click on save now if you observe over here we are almost done with our flow now we have to do one thing over here if you see every time i am going to write the data into the right file once the entire line has been completed after reading each and every line now i have to set the full original to blank once again because of every time that we are going to make it as a blank and then we have to uh append the text over here right so that what i'm going to do i'm going to make it full origin text as blank after writing that data to the text file now let me make this full original text as blank by giving single quotes over there let's click on save now our entire flow is ready to extract the data from the images and then by using ocr we are going to read the data inside the images and then by using write text to file action we are going to write the data into the particular text file all right this is our entire flow now let me explain once again by using ocr action i am going to extract the data inside the images now i am having n number of images in my particular folder on my local desktop so that to get all the files inside the folder i'm going to use get files in a folder by using this action i can retrieve the files in the folder and then i'm going to store the list of files in the files flow variable to loop through these files i'm going to use for each action and then each and every image i'm going to store in the current image and then i'm going to use ocr action by using ocr action i'm going to get the response as json format in the json i'm having regions lines and words as an output 
and I'm going through for each loop for the current item, current line, and also I'm going through the loop for each and every current line to get the current word. And then I'm going to get current word of text, and then I'm going to set the value to full original, full original having original text along with concatenating with the current word, right? Once I read the entire data and I have stored inside the full original text, I'm going to write the data to the text file by using write text to file. And once writing has been completed, then I'm going to set the variable once again, full original text to blank. And then it will go through the process. And then finally, we'll get the entire text inside the images into the destination path, which we have given as a text file. Over here, I'm going to make a small change. Set variable, I'm going to set the variable full original text to full original text from a current word. I'm going to make this change over here. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm having the images to extract the data by using OCR. And then these images data we are going to store inside the OCR output. There you can see I'm having the OCR output text file as blank. And let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see it is going through each and every line. It took some time to execute the entire flow. Now I will show you the input and the output side by side. Let me open my first image that is scanned image one. There you can see it will start forward right you can see it has been started and it has been ended on her boys right there you can see on her boys and let me open the second image if you see over here the second image starts with if you want to convert the printed documents into the text file from here it has been started and then you can see there's the you start procedure there you have to start the procedure. This is the one of the end of the second image. Let me go to the third image. There you can see chapter one treats of the place where Oliver Twist was born. There you can see it has been started chapter one. And let me go to the final image. There you can see the values wall. There you can see the values wall over here. And the end of the image, there were having someone humanity, right? The entire text from the images has been extracted by using OCR action. And then we have stored successfully into the OCR output file by using write text to file action. In the real time scenario, we are going to do in a such a way we are going for the healthcare department there you can see there's a lot of documents which are going to be scanned and then we want to extract the data inside the particular image by using OCR action we are going to extract the data and then we are going to write the data into the particular files all right i hope you understand how to work with OCR action and also we have seen how to get the files inside the folder by using get files in a folder and after that, we have seen how to write the data to the particular text file by using write text to file action. Along with that, we have seen how to set the variable to blank by using single quotes that is set variable as original text to blank. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.